welcome and greetings from sunny Malaysia. First of all, thank you so much for watching this video and I'm so excited to be part of the Artful Gathering Teaching Faculty 2014. Let me show you around where I live. I live in a town called Damansara Pradana and we are about 20 kilometers away from the capital city of Kuala Lumpur. I live in a condominium with my husband Jason and my two little girls Lara who's eight and Maya who's three and our unit is just up there. And in front of me this is our pool area. Nice isn't it? I'm not so much of the swimming kind but I do like to come here every once so often with a book or two and just read and relax and um, well imagine I'm someplace else having a vacation. It's time to go but before we go back to my home and where I work I'd like to take you to someplace else. Come on! Wait for me! I'm here at a very old village, just one kilometer away from where I live, and this is where I hunt for my textures. creative corner, my little nook, and this is where it all happens. Uh, as you can see, it's not a huge space, it's a tiny space, but it works well for me. Uh, we live in a condominium with uh, three rooms, a master bedroom and a room that my daughters share, so I get this room to work in, but I also have to share this room with uh, the house junk. And that's me. <laughs> yeah, that's daddy. Daddy camps in here quite often actually so um, but I love this space because simply because it's right at home my eight-year-old will do her homework on the floor over there my little one can sit beside me and do her little drawings while I work here so it really works well for me this space okay let me show you a bit around uh, of my little corner this is where I talk to the world my laptop and uh, this is all I have for a workspace but it's good enough I do my jewelry, my mixed media jewelry here my handmade books here and I have all my my components right in front of me which I like very much because if I keep them in a drawer or something I would just forget about them so I have them all here within, within arm's reach uh, my gears, my chains all oh, my beads are here and uh, my tools, my paints. So my paints, this is where I keep all my paints, my mediums and this little space here is where I hammer all my metal. I have a really tiny uh, bench block and a basic dapping tool but I also have this. 
ta-da! I have a slice of wood, a slice of a tree, which I got uh, from the side of the road. I saw a couple of men just clear, clearing up some branches. Uh, so I asked them if they could cut up some some wood for me. And they asked me, uh, did you want this for a chopping board? I said, uh, well, sort of, not a chopping board, but a hammering board. So I do all my larger disc here, which doesn't fit the basic uh, the basic damping the basic damping block. Okay, let's move over there. And over here is where all our books are, or most of our books. Um, I have my art books here, and Daddy has his golf magazines down there, and my home magazines are here. But I also have all my favorite books here. For instance, the Harry Potter collection, and my Twilight collection, my Lord of the Rings, my Lord of the Rings book, I have the Lord of the Rings, the Hobbit, I even have the Cimmerillion. Uh, my Narnia is here as well, and of course, my David Eddings collection. And if you're wondering what these little black boxes are, they are, they are actually my, my work. Uh, my completed pieces, so for instance this one is a little book necklace which is inspired by the steampunk theme so they're all safely kept in little boxes like these waiting for the new owners well, as you can see I only read fantasy basically my work is inspired by fantasy, the world fantasy and the world of alternate reality I love to induce some steampunk elements into my work as well and some gothic elements because I like the vampire. I am Team Edward. Yes. Uh, but if there is one thing that encompasses all my work, like 99% of my work, will be the concept of age. I really, really love the idea of things or people or places being um, being ravished by time or being forgotten by time it's it feels really romantic to me now I'd like to share this little baby with you this is what we're going to be working on for our project it's a mixed media book a mini book which includes loads of different uh, medias like clay metal um, lace and uh, all the other fibers I will teach you from scratch how to make the covers how to sew the book uh, on a leather spine and um, how to finish the cover into this beautiful aged look and it's a class book so and these little clasps here so I'll be teaching you how to make these little clasps as well and just take a look inside. Beautiful, isn't it? So this is what we will be doing for our project this year. I love to invite all of you to the Artful Gathering Online Retreat 2014. Please come, if not for me, for all the other wonderful projects that will be on this year. There will be loads of them. Uh, the dates to remember will be at the end of this video, so please, please, please come and let's have fun together!